YouTuber. What's going on? It's your boy Mike McFly and you're watching McFly Collectibles. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the Joker Death of the Family Pop T-shirt set. It's a glow in the dark, so hopefully this one glows better than the Corrupted Venom that I showed you guys in my last video. Let's open him up, see how he looks. What's going on, collectors? If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get updated on all my new videos. So here you go, guys. I'm gonna unbox this thing. Let's see how it looks. So as you know, this was a Hot Topic exclusive. And I actually ordered this a couple of weeks ago and it came in the mail and I actually ordered a large and for some reason, yeah, uh, they gave me a small. I checked online, it was sold out. I got it on a deal. I think the shirt is usually $30, but it was on sale for $22.95, so I had to jump on it. But let me take them out. Box actually looks pretty cool. Badass box, like the way it looks. Just sucks that they don't have my size. It's unbelievable. But yeah, so a uh, little bit of information about this, this pop and the history of this pop basically is that Joker, he basically comes out of his hiding or whatever the case may be because uh, it was part of the death of the family issue and back in 2014. And basically Joker's out to basically kill all of Batman's allies from Alfred, his butler, to uh, Batgirl, to um, Gort, Commissioner Gordon, to Commissioner Gordon's wife, I believe, uh, and all the other all Robins. So it was actually a pretty, that was a hardcore uh, DC comic book. So yeah, so let's take a look at the shirt first. I want to show you guys the shirt. Open them up. Sucks that I got this in a small man because the shirt looks awesome. I like the way it looks already Here we go Wow, yeah Boom this shirt looks awesome like I like the way it looks man like The whole details on it. It's little blood specks on the shirt. I like it. if it was my size For sure. I'd be wearing it almost every day. This is a badass looking shirt All right so now let's get straight to the pop. And here he is, Joker, death of the family. This Joker looks awesome. One of the best Jokers I've seen. Box is in mint condition. Great box, mint condition box. Good job, Hot Topic, factory code right on the bottom. So yeah, I told you a little information about it. It was a, it was a very violent DC comic book. And it was just a Joker. As you can see, he's, he's actually has like a handyman, like a car carpenter's outfit on. So, because he was just doing many, um, many disguises just to go after Batman's allies. It was a pretty hardcore issue. But yeah, so um, I'm going to open him up so we can see how it looks in hand. I'm going to take him out. Take him off from the bottom. I want to be a little bit careful. And I can already tell what parts glow. His hair and everything else. But here you go. Death of the family, the Joker. And the details on this pop is insane. Obviously, the glow part is his, uh, I believe it's his right eye and his, obviously, his green hair, which makes it look cool. And the details, basically, like, he ripped his face off and put it back on. And he's wearing the carpenter outfit, which says Joe's Garage. The hammer has a, a blood on it, as if he just hit someone in the head with it. And it's a, it's a pop figure, not a bobblehead. But it looks awesome, man. The details on this pop is insane. The glow is great too. I, I thought the both eyes should glow, but I believe one is glowing yellow and the other one is gl uh, glowing uh, green. And yeah, I, I mean, besides that, this whole pop is nice. I don't know anybody who slept on this and if you did sleep on it, it's pretty dumb, especially if you're collecting fungal pops because this is not a bad looking pop at all. It's one of the best Joker pops out there, in my opinion. I like the way it looks, great details on it. I'm sure they probably gonna do another Death of the Family from that comic line, from that issue. And they should do like a Robin, a Commissioner Gordon, Batgirl, because that whole, it, they should have even a comic book moment because that whole comic book series, Death of the Family, was insane. So many violent parts. Maybe Funko won't do it because it was violent, but yeah, it's just an idea. But yeah, guys, great looking pop. Well, there you have it, collectors. Joker, Death of the Family, Glow in the Dark pop. Came with the t-shirt. T-shirt didn't come in my size, but doesn't matter. I'll probably give it to one of my family members. But yeah, 
This pop looks awesome. If you're a DC fan, I'm sure you haven't. If you didn't, get it. Trust me, you gotta get it. So yeah, guys, so um, a little bit of information that happened this week. Funkos were releasing pictures of Star Wars Celebration, which is uh, August 28th. That's gonna be a hot item because it's the Star Wars concept series. So they're gonna have Boba Fett, uh, Darth Vader, you know, Chewbacca, you know, Yoda, you know, your usual, there's only six though. One is shared with Amazon, one is shared with FYE, one is shared with GameStop, and I believe the other two is going to be a Funko Shop exclusive. But uh, that's a little bit of information on the Star Wars celebration. Once again, August 28th, pay mind to the release dates from the, your local stores and also online. I'm sure there's going to be a virtual con release for that. Hopefully the website doesn't mess up. And about the Funko website, they also released the Funko Ween Pops. And let me tell you something, they released six of them, and I got two. I got the Magneto, Zombie Magneto, and I got Frank and Freddy, which I'm hyped to get, because uh, I actually got kicked out of the um, checkout the first time. I waited, had the little shipping rates, I got kicked out. And I said, let me go back in. And when I went back in, ASAP, basically checked out in two minutes. Uh, I couldn't believe it, I was like, wow, and I got those two, and from what I was hearing, I checked on Twitter and Instagram, and once I checked out, I went right on Twitter and Instagram, and within 10 seconds, 15 seconds, people was like, gone. Magneto, gone. Frank and Freddy, gone. The Corpse is Bride, Glow in the Dark, gone. And the other two we left was uh, um, Edward Scissorhands. Both Edward Scissorhands, they were there. And I forgot what was the other one. Uh, I forgot the, one of the cats from Disney. Zero, whatever his name is. I'm, I wasn't going to get that one. I was just focused on Magneto and Frank and Freddy. But yeah, so uh, it was it was actually not bad. Some people were still complaining. You still got your complaints on Instagram and Twitter saying, oh, I'm not doing this again with Funko. They messed up. Me, I'm not going to lie. I was scared. I got kicked out of checkout. And then I went to my cart. It was still there. So And for some strange reason, there was no shipping rates, nothing. It went, it went through fast. I got through. And I got two out of the six. The two main ones that I was trying to get, basically. So let me know in the comments down below, what did you get from the Funko Ween release? Uh, I hope you guys did get something. I'm hearing some actually got two or one. That's not bad. I knew everybody was going to go after um, Freddy, um, Frank and Freddy. I knew everybody was going to go after that and the Magneto. And I know everybody was ordering two corpses, hoping that they'll get the chase. I feel like people who order two corpses are just going to get the regulars. And the person that orders one will get a chase. I feel like that's how it's going to be. But yeah, though, let me know in the comments down below what you got from that release. And if you're getting anything from Star Wars Celebration, because that looks like an interesting line. I know there's going to be a lot of Star Wars fans that's going to get those pops. And also, let me know if you enjoyed this Funko Pop right here. Joker, Death of the Family. Definitely like it. It's now in my collection. Added another to the collection. It's a great looking pop, guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Also, once again, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. This weekend is going to just be a more relaxing before the storm. Because I'm telling you right now, once Star Wars Celebration comes down around Wednesday or Thursday, the hype is going to get real. I'm telling you right now. And Funko might do a surprise drop when it comes to them Star Wars pops. But yeah, guys, hope you guys have a blessed weekend, a safe weekend. Till then, I'm out.